population and growth are a major determination of food demand. And you can think of it rather simply. More people equals more, and this is a keyword, potential food demand. Income and income growth plays a key role in food demand, but population does as well. If we look at some of the most populated countries in the world, topping that list is China, 1.4 billion people, India, 1.375 billion people, and then there is the United States, 334 million. It's important to realize 334 million people in the United States take that times four and you get close to the population of China. As we move down the list, Indonesia, Pakistan, Nigeria, and then Brazil, you can see most of those are in what we will term the developing world. Overall, the population of the, uh, the world is 8 billion people. If we look at that more from a geographical perspective, and this is going to show the same thing, this comes from 2015, whereas the other figures in the previous graph came from 2020, so there's a bit of difference here. But first we look at the developing world, 325 million people in the United States, 739 in Europe, and that again would be the developed world. So if you're looking at those, there's 1 billion people in the developed world. We have China with 1.3, and again, these numbers vary a bit from the previous slide. The previous slide includes more up-to-date numbers, but 1.3 billion people in China. And again, China has more people than Europe and the United States. And then we have India, 1.3. Uh, Indonesia, 261 million. And then that area of Africa, 186 million people. All right, that's a static look at the, that fact. And all else being equal, you would expect food demand in China to be greater than that for the United States and Europe. China has more people. However, income and income growth plays an important role in that. Over time, and again, this is a static look at those populations, population growth around the world differs. And African countries and, and India and that Middle East area tend to have higher growth rates than, say, Europe and Western Europe. And a good number of the countries in Western Europe actually have declining populations. So as we move forward, more of the population will be located in Africa, Latin America, India, and the Middle East. In fact, India will soon pass China as the most populated country.